If you've ever soldered, you know, those fumes always seem to find a way into your face. They're inescapable, and more importantly, they can pose a health risk. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I built an effective low-cost soldering fume extractor for around 50 US dollars. Let's get into it. There are a few types of fume extractors out there. The first type recirculates the air through a carbon or HEPA filter, then pushes it back into the room. These work, but the filters don't last forever, and cheaper models often struggle due to the airflow resistance the filters create. The second kind, what we're building today, is a ducted extractor. This one vents the fumes outside, removing them entirely from your workspace. It's simple, it's more effective, and it's surprisingly affordable. Quick myth bust, if you're using leaded solder, you might think you're breathing in lead, but that's not really true. Lead vaporizes at around 1749 degrees Celsius, far hotter than a soldering iron ever gets. The real issue is flux fumes. Flux is what helps solder stick, it cleans oxidization off the surfaces. But flux contains all kinds of chemicals depending on the type, rosin, synthetic resins, acids, solvents, halides, and breathing that in regularly, not a great idea. Here's the heart of the system, this 4 inch inline duct fan I picked up on eBay for around 25 US dollars. It's marketed for things like grow tents or aquaponics, but it works great for our needs. It even has a built in speed control. To move air from my soldering station to the window, I'm using 4 inch flexible aluminium ducting. This roll cost under 10 US dollars for around 7.5 meters on AliExpress, and has a PVC outer liner for durability. One of the big advantages of ducting is that it compresses when you're not using it, reducing the storage space. Before we get into the build, big thanks to GLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Most of the time when I'm soldering, I'm working on a custom PCB, and I've been using GLCPCB for years to prototype my electronics projects with production level quality. Ordering from them is super straightforward, even for beginners. You just upload your Gerber files, select from a wide range of base materials, solder mask colors, and board thicknesses, and they handle the rest automatically. The turnaround is fast, and their tracking keeps you in the loop. They also offer 3D printing and CNC machining, which makes them a one-stop shop for all kinds of electronics builds. Plus, they have a huge selection of mechatronics parts available too. If you're new to JLCPCB, check the link at the top of the description, and you'll get up to $70 in new user coupons just for signing up. Thanks again to JLCPCB for supporting independent makers like me. Now let's get back into the build. At the inlet, I designed a 3D printed flange to keep the ducting rigid and to help direct airflow. It sits near the soldering iron and acts like a little hood to suck in fumes. I designed this in Fusion 360 and I'll leave the SDL in the description. For the outlet, I'm just using cardboard to create a removable window panel. I measured my window when open, and cut out a rectangular piece of flat cardboard to match. I put a small bend around one vertical length to help with fitting it inside the window. I'll eventually cut out an MDF panel sometime, but cardboard will do for now. I put a circle and some holes in the cardboard on the lower right hand side where another flange will mount. This is where the outlet ducting from the fan clamps to. I again 3D printed some flanges to mount to the cardboard, a front piece which has a circular extrusion for the ducting to clamp over and a rear clamp piece for it to screw onto, clamping over the cardboard for a good seal. And with that done, we can mount the panel in the window. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can buy inexpensive plastic flanges from AliExpress for connecting to the window. However, you may have to get a little creative for the inlet hood. Inline fans like this one usually pull air better than they push, so I'm placing the fan closer to the window, not the soldering station. That way, it draws fumes effectively without creating back pressure. I then cut out a smaller section of the ducting to route from the fan to the window, securing it with some zip ties to the fan. Routing this up to the window, it easily installs with hose clamps to the outlet flange. Just don't over tighten onto 3D printed parts as they can be brittle. I then ran the remaining longer section of ducting along the wall to the fan inlet and secured it with a few more zip ties. The hood can then be secured to the open end of the inlet ducting with a hose clamp.
The setup isn't permanent, I only mount the duct and panel when I'm soldering. It goes up and comes down in less than a minute, which keeps my workspace clean and flexible. Let's give it a test. As you can see, the fumes get pulled right in and out the window. It's quiet, it's powerful, and it cost me less than $50 total. You can scale this up or down depending on your needs, but this should suit most DIY electronics work just fine. I think a good next step would be to create a more rigid holder for keeping it on the workbench, or possibly some kind of hanger setup for overhead fume extraction, which would be good for SMD reflyer. If you found this helpful, feel free to drop a like or comment with your own extractor builds or feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.